A baseball showdown off the field. Today, Cuban exiles gathered at the famous Versailles restaurant in Little Havana to protest against Cuba's baseball team, which is here in Miami for the World Baseball Classic. NBC 6's Ryan Nelson joining us live from Lone Depot Park, where another protest is now planned for tomorrow. Ryan. Yes, and Cuba, pardon me, USA and Venezuela will be facing off in Lone Depot Park in about an hour. The winner of that game will go on to face Cuba tomorrow. And some Cuban Americans will be watching the game inside Lone Depot Park, while others say they'll be outside protesting against what they say is an oppressive Cuban governmental regime. They're angry. We don't want them here. Get the hell out of here because you are insulting the real Cuba. And vocal. The repressors and these people that are coming to play baseball, these guys as, as uh, repressors, these guys as baseball players. Demonstrators gathering at Versailles in Little Havana Saturday with a clear message. Representing the worst dictatorship of this hemisphere for 64 years are coming here to play baseball. That's a big insult to the Cubans. Protesters taking issue with the presence of Cuba's baseball team in South Florida for the World Baseball Classic. Cuba beat Australia and Japan Wednesday to qualify for the semifinals, earning the trip to Miami which is home to more than a million Cuban exiles. Demonstrators say the team is a propaganda tool for an oppressive dictatorship. Social media accounts linked to the Cuban government are using the hashtag Team Asade, a term for a friend or buddy. Protesters say it's a distraction as the Cuban government refuses to release thousands of political prisoners despite pressure to do so from the Vatican and the Biden administration. Knowing that there's a lot of political prisoners and that people in there are getting depressed, it's unfair for, it's unfair for them to play here in the United States. Local politicians are speaking out too. Hialeah's mayor, Esteban Bovo, issued a statement reading in part, quote, I strongly suggest that the Marlins not turn their backs on the Cuban exile community at this time. We cannot tolerate agents of the regime enjoying the freedoms of this country while the Cuban people are in dire need and being subjected to the abuse and repression of the cowards of the regime. Hashtag Patria y Vida. Demonstrations are planned for Sunday's game as well. Freedom and, and liberty. That's what Cuba needs. And we've reached out to a Marlins spokesperson for comment on what the mayor said and that statement. And as soon as we receive a response, we'll be sure to update you. Meanwhile, the Miami Police Department says that there will be enhanced security on hand for tomorrow's game. Ryan Nelson, NBC6 News.